What's going on folks and welcome to another reputized video. The Meg starring Jason Statham, Lee Bing Bing, Rain Wilson, Cliff Curtis, and Ruby Rose. The story follows Jonas Taylor as he tries to rescue his friends but fails after he gets attacked by a 70 foot shark. There's a five year gap and these group of scientists seek him out for another rescue attempt. A lot of things goes wrong of course. You're dealing with a big shark, a megalodon, that's what they call it, a supposed extinct species of shark that hello it's not extinct and they just clash with it you know it reminds me so much of Jaws they couldn't be any more obvious than to try to mimic that whole movie which is one of the problems I have with it but we'll get to that later the casting in it was fair it was it was good. Ruby Rose's character is the only other name no name I knew from it other than Jason Statham. Ruby Rose also played in Triple X, The Return of Xander Cage, Resident Evil, The Final Chapter, and John Wick Chapter Two. I thought she was pretty good. All in all, the performances was was good. The effects in it was decent enough. It didn't want to make me go, oh my god, you know, just stop. It didn't go overboard. I don't really believe that there's a shark out there that that's long, that's 70 foot long. I might be wrong. You know, people who's looking at this review is probably thinking to themselves, wow, he, this guy doesn't really do his research. This is a movie we're talking about. This is a movie I'm talking about. If there's real sharks out there like that, then as long as I'm not caught in the crossfire of that, I'm good. But all seriousness, the effects in it wasn't too cheesy enough for me to like flap my hands up or anything. It wasn't it wasn't cheesy. It wasn't too heavily relied on. And there was some shaky camera incidences. I could tell that there was some shots where it wasn't shaky camera and then like it would turn to a shaky camera shot. So it's like it was trying to balance out. It, it was decent enough. It was fair enough. It was well edited. I couldn't really tell if there was any like screw-ups or continuity errors or anything like that. And even if I did, I probably didn't miss it, but the editing overall I thought was pretty decent. Now, we get to the music portion by Harry Gregson Williamson. He added a light touch to it. And what I mean by that is there was some of the scenes, and this kind of relates to what I said about Jaws earlier. He didn't use the theme from Jaws. There's a lot of scenes in there where the, the music just stops. You don't hear nothing. It's kind of like you're watching a horror movie, but nothing really jumps out at you. Nothing really catches you off guard, except for when the shark actually shows up for the first time at the vessel. But the silence and music, it didn't really work. I mean, for most of the scenes. The lighting and cinematography was, was pretty good. It, they, they didn't dim it too much, they didn't darken it, and they didn't lighten it either. Of course, the, the movie happens in the daytime, and there was scenes where they were outside, but when they were down in the sea, it, they, they kept it light enough. You could see what was going on, so that, that was good. This movie relied more on the jokes. There was a bunch of jokes in this. And, you know, I love, you know, the positive side to this is I love, there was this little girl in there. Her and Jason Statham's character just hit it off just like that. And their chemistry was just awesome. I loved seeing one of my favorite action stars of all time intertwining with this little girl. Even though he did that in Save, that wasn't as memorable as this, though. John Turtletop's direction was good enough. Y you understand where he was trying to go with it. But at the same time, it did lag in some scenes. But it was good. It was it was good enough. I'm not disgracing it completely. All right, folks, and here comes the negativities. Some of the scenes just seemed so washed out. The story, especially the movie, tried to rely so much on that Jaws feel. It just didn't work. The only highlight about it was the little girl. And Jason Statham. The other characters, like I said earlier, it they was good, but 
It just didn't feel like they were trying. Bottom line, if you're looking to be wowed by this movie, I wouldn't hold your breath. But if you're looking for just a popcorn action flick to watch once, then I would recommend seeing this. Seeing it in theaters did, you know, kind of, you know, move me in some parts. But it's just something that I probably won't see again. And even if I did, I'd probably just rent it. I'm going to give the Meg a B-. minus. Thank you so much for watching this video. I have more reviews for you coming soon. Like, subscribe, and get reputized. Peace to rip out!